What's up? It's McGuy here, and today we're going to be creating a really cool shooter game um, that's going to take place in space with the spaceship, and they're going to be aliens and enemies trying to hit it, but you're going to have to dodge it and have to shoot the enemies. So yeah, the first thing we want to do is delete the sprite cat and click this upload, and we're going to upload uh, the spaceship costume. And I did not make this, so I'm not taking credit for it, but I'll link it in the description in a drive kind of file so you guys can just get it by downloading it. So the first thing is going to say when flag is clicked. It's too big. So we're going to say set size to 15%. And then after that, you want to um, uh, you want to go to motion and say point in direction negative 90 to flip it over. So then we're going to create a variable. It's going to be called x speed. And we're going to set x speed to 0 at the start. Then go to control, say forever. And drag and if this is going to be your controls. Go into sensing, get a key, and then you're going to put right pressed. And then all you want to do is set change x speed. Uh, set x speed to four. I think that's good. Um, but before, okay, so we can see that it's right there. Stop the game. Drag it to the bottom, and then go to your motion and drag in this and put that right there. So when you start your game, it should look like that. So then right click this and duplicate it. So then you could make this left and you could make this negative four. And then in data, we're gonna have to say set X speed, go into your operators, drag in a multiplication uh, circle and say X speed times point nine. I think that's good. And then go into motion and say change x by x speed. So now when you start, it's very smooth and it's a really cool moving system for your games. I think it's a little bit too slow. So what we'll do is, well actually, yeah. So we'll change this to five and negative five. And that's gonna be our, uh, our, what's it called our ship I'm forgetting that for some reason so next what you want to do is you want to click this again and we're gonna add a background so drag in this back costume dot gif and again I'm going to provide that with the drive link and all you want to say is go into when flag clicked and drag it drag in a go to motion sorry drag in a go to and you're gonna set it to go to X it's gonna be zero and Y is gonna be 345 so then after that, you're gonna wanna go to control, drag in a forever, and then say if, um, and then go into operators, drag in the less than, dra go into Y position, sorry. So you go into motion, and then drag in this Y position, put that in the first slot, and then in the second slot, you wanna do negative 340. So then after that, um, well, we actually are going to take this out and then drag this if out, and instead we're going to have an if else. My bad. And then if this happens, then simply change y by. Um, so we need to go into motion, say change y by. Before we do that, we're going to go into data and make a new variable. It's going to be called scrolling speed. And at the very start, you can set scrolling speed to zero, and then all you do is say. Go into operators, drag into multiplication, go back into your data, set scrolling speed. Whoops. Put that in the first slot, and then put negative one in the second slot. And this is going to start off as four at the very start. Also, you want to go into control and say create clone of myself. And this is going to be zero, actually. Um, and then else. And here you want to say motion. You're going to drag in a go to, and it's going to be go to um, x is 0, y is 300, or y is, yeah, 345. So then right click uh, the forever and duplicate it, and then go into control and say when I start as clone, go into your motion, and then drag in a go to this one, and you can say x is 0 and Y, 345. So here, now, 
Let me see. So if y position is, I'm sorry, this just should be greater than, a greater than here. Right, okay. So let's see if it works. Okay, yeah, this needs to be greater than two. Let's see, okay. You can see we have scrolling background, so that's really cool. And um, it's it's towards the back, so we want the spaceship to go to the front. So go into your spaceship, go into the looks, and say, go to front. Now, already, in just a couple of minutes, we have this really nice thing, right, where you can move around and um, very smooth controls, and the background is scrolling. But the problem is, like, the border of this looks really weird. So what we're going to go do is go into costumes, and we're going to change all the black to white. So use the paint bucket tool, and then click the white right here, and just do that, and try to get everything. So it should look like that. And just, dra and just try to do it everywhere you see black. So now... We have this even cooler kind of thing where it just moves around. So now we need to add our bullet. So go and make a new sprite, and we're going to zoom it in. And we're going to make a small little rectangle, which just looks like that. And then center it so that this is the center. And that's all we're going to do for the bullet in this episode. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a really quick and awesome tutorial. Um, I'll bring back another episode probably tomorrow. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And peace out.